3D scene and drawing navigation can be performed with the mouse and 3D manipulator. By pressing the left mouse button, the model can be rotated. It is possible to change the mouse button for rotation in options. If you move the mouse over an object, press and hold the left mouse button, you can rotate it around the selected center of rotation. The center of rotation can be set manually using a special command in the view tab of the ribbon. You can set the center of rotation about the intersection point or about the center of the body. When you click on an object, a pop-up dynamic toolbar appears with the commands available for working with selected object. Being in the mode of launched or edited operation or command, you can complete the operation by double-clicking the left mouse button. You can press and hold shift on the keyboard simultaneously with the left mouse button, then the model can be scrolled and zoomed in the scene. If you press and hold control on the keyboard and the left mouse button, you can move the model in the scene. The same applies to the drawing. Using the scrolling mouse wheel, you can zoom in on the 3D scene. If you press and hold the mouse wheel, the model can be moved in the scene. If you double-click the mouse wheel, the 3D model will be maximized and centered. Right mouse click in free space will call context menu and dynamic toolbar with available 3D scene commands. When you hover the mouse over a model, you can call a drop-down list of its elements by clicking on the central mouse button. Right mouse click over an element will call the context menu and dynamic toolbar for this element. If you press and hold right mouse button, you can select an object by rectangle. Selection from right to left means that all elements that are fully within the specified region are selected. Selection from left to right means that object are selected by the crossing box. In addition to selection with a rectangle, there are several more selection options in filter toolbar. Namely, selection using a closed or cutting curve. We'll cover the filter toolbar in detail a little later. When working in a 3D scene, it is convenient to use special commands in the dynamic toolbar. For example, you can select face and hide it or enable semi-transparent view. All elements of the model located in the model tree, in which they can be hidden and turned on a semi-transparent view. The element of the selected face can be found in the model tree using a special command. If the model tree is hidden, then this option will open the model tree in the 3D model window. You can configure special columns with options that may be helpful during the working process. When working with a 3D scene and drawing, the user has access to the Auto Menu toolbar, Filter toolbar and View toolbar. Auto Menu contains options and modes for commands and operations. In Filter toolbar you can customize the selection of object. For example, you can enable selection of only operations. Only faces. Only edges. Only loops. Only vertices. You can turn back selection of all elements by clicking like this. An expanded selection filter within geometric types is now available in 3D modeling operations at the stage of selecting geometric objects. For example when it is necessary to specify a point in the middle of the edge, you can set selecting only edges in the binding filter and specify edge midpoint in the geometric objects filter. In the view toolbar are the main commands for navigations the 3D scene and additional options. You can use different points of view. You can change the model display quality. You can choose different sections. In the T-Flex CAD system, there is a quick way to construct simple plane sections on a 3D model. To do this, use the clip plane command. A section will appear in the 3D scene, which can be changed using the manipulators.
Also, on the view toolbar is an option to turn object snapping on and off. If the option is enabled, dynamic highlighting of the selected elements is performed, to which snapping is possible. By default, object snapping is enabled. In addition, this toolbar contains a command for the full regeneration of the model. When the command is activated, a window appears allowing you to select what exactly needs to be regenerated. This can be a regeneration of 2D projections, 3D elements, drawing views, and so on. In a 3D scene, you can change the display style. as well as switch between the created cameras. In a special properties window, you can set up light sources, background and environment textures, set up viewpoints in detail, work with views, and much more.